Good morning, everybody. This is Dave Kelm. The show on YouTube is Milk Punch. <coughs> Excuse me. Good Lord. Question of the day. Do you have a favorite color? Second part. Do you have a favorite number? The reason I ask is over the holiday season, you know, you tend to get together with family and sometimes there are younger people around. Children, young adults, mostly in orange light. Um, <laughs> and, and you get to talking about things and I don't know, you get into these conversations, oh, uh, you know, do you have a favorite color? I don't know how you get into those conversations. Maybe there was a small child around and somebody asked the small, small child that they have a favorite color. Because really it's not like an icebreaker at an adult event. Well, hi John, nice to meet you. Let me ask, what's your favorite color? No, you don't get that. I, I don't get that. And I go to a lot of different social events. No, and even business events, networking events. You don't hear that. Amanda, nice to see you. Do you have a favorite number? No, no, you don't get that. So. But it's interesting because, to me at least, everyone I knew growing up had a favorite color and a favorite number. Everybody. Everybody. As a child, everybody. You kind of even knew their favorites, right? Red, yellow, which is weird, blue, you know, the basics. Uh, mine, purple. Purple, dark, dark purple. Always has been. Um, number six always. Not, you know, number 23 for Michael Jordan. No. Number 34 for Walter Payton. No. Six. Nice and simple. Six. <coughs> Excuse me. So, do you still have a favorite color and or a favorite number? The young adults that I was with had some interesting answers. And maybe this goes to, <laughs> maybe this goes to the, um, the idea that, you know, uh, as the nation gets older and, and people have faith in fewer and fewer things, right? I mean, there's all these studies about, you know, a, a lack of, organ, of faith in organized religion or whatever. Maybe that's what it has to do with, right? Eh. Some of the younger adults I was with had never even been asked that question, which I find disturbing because I think there are all kinds of children's books devoted to, I don't know, two things, colors and fucking numbers. So why wouldn't you have ever been asked, gee, Johnny, what's your favorite color? Never? Okay, so that was the first thing that I was appalled by, is that they didn't even have a favorite color, and then not a favorite number? <laughs> what? So the second thing that was disturbing was some of them have weird favorite numbers. <laughs> like, one was 27. What? What child, what young child, sweet little thing, growing up, learning to count with a children's book, you know, one of those hard, you know, cardboard children's books, learning to count to 10. What kind of weird kid comes up with, you know, I really like the number 27. What? So, do you still hold a favorite color and a favorite number? Or have you outgrown such childish things? Hope you're having a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.